Hey, what's going on, everyone? Uh, today is December the 8th, 2021. We're going to talk about Nikola today. Uh, it's been a while. You guys can see from our price chart that we need to come through and do another price prediction. So we're going to talk about that today on the video for Nikola. We want to know if this market is oversold. Should we come in and buy? Should we sell? What in the world should we do? Understand, price chart already tells us what we need to do. The answers are already here. So if you guys can understand price bars and volume, you guys are a thousand steps ahead of everyone else in the game because they're still back there trying to use technical indicators you don't need any of that to understand where the market's going to go so welcome to hfn also known as hufenu this is what i do i do price predictions without the confusion without the confusion without the complexities that so many of these so-called analysts try to get you all to think you need you don't need it you only need price bars and volume so let me show you all if you guys appreciate it, you know, hit the like button, share the video, also subscribe to the channel. Now, let me break down what the market price performance has been against my last video, my last price prediction. It's not hard. It's not confusing. You can see it. October the 29th was the last time I did a video. Don't worry about it. It's still in the playlist. I'm being fully transparent with all of our subscribers. I want you all to know that, yeah. You will get some wrong, but majority of the time, we're definitely in profit mode because we predict where market is going to go. Now, look, October 29th, I told you all to be prepared for Nikola to go up, right? We was playing the strength into the market and look at where I have my ultimate TP price, right? I wasn't extremely bullish. I didn't come in and say, let look for the market to hit $20. No, that's ridiculous. This is not how markets work. You have so many unexperienced YouTubers out here trying to get you all to think that these stocks are going to moon, that you're going to be short squeezes and that you're going to be buying Lambos and buying your own island. This is not how market dynamics work, right? So take a look. Yeah, I said around $14. Now we saw a price go a little bit higher to $14.50, but we were in the ballpark, right? We wasn't being extremely greedy we wasn't fearful we said be prepared to see some selling coming around 14 22.4 percent right there all right now were you able to eat off that were you able to grab the bag in the market right there because if so congratulations if not if you were to get out now you guys can see that nikola is now trading around ten dollars and thirty cents you're down ten percent yeah see this is why you cannot necessarily be in the market for 5, 10, 15 years because you end up eating away at your profits. During the month of November, you were up 20 some percent. Now in the month of December, you're down 10. Hmm. That's just the question why these people want you to hold these stocks for the next 15,000 years. Now, that's done. That is over. Let me straighten this up though because you guys can tell that the market in Nikolai was following this upward trend, right? You guys can see how this ascending line was being maintained until November 23rd. We broke it to the downside. That is not a good thing. I'm just keeping it real. We don't want to see that. We wanted to see the market support Nikola above this ascending line, and that did not come to fruition. So what does it mean then? Well, one thing for certain is that we're not looking for the price to go up. Not yet. So if anything, we're looking for some consolidational trading then. Okay. So let's do it. We're going to run and show you what our expectations are in the market in Nikolai. Now, that's the basis. Okay. This is the basis to where support is $9. Okay. We see that. Now, we have already seen buyers step in the market at $9. They already came through. Yeah, yesterday, the market in Nikolai came in and supported $9 again. So we're pretty good. We're stable for the moment in Nikolai. Now, what can we expect, though? Like I said, we broke the trend into the market in Nikolai. So I'm not looking for the price to create a trend, not an upward trend, at least. OK, I'm not expecting that. So this is not one of those run in the mill plays where we, we're looking for the price to do a monumental break out above $20, right? We're not there yet. The market currently in Nikola is in a consolidational range, which is not bad neither, right? There's buyers here. 
and when buyers are here and they're trading at lower prices than where we've been that is usually commensurate with them accumulating meaning that they're coming in trying to buy up as much of this stock as possible because they know that longer term whether it's two months six months six years who knows they know that the value of this stock is going to be a lot higher so they want to come in and accumulate as much as possible this is the current process right now so like you said if you're a long-term holder and nikola well this is precisely what the market is doing here they're accumulating now we ever break nine dollars to the downside we are no longer accumulating the market has been selling this if we break nine dollars to the downside yeah that's what it means okay so pay attention to that as we go throughout 2022 so let's look at this on a weekly time frame okay now we got two days and nine hours left and i like this though right on the conclusion of this weekly price bar if we see Nikola close at the high of this weekly price bar now, I know that the buyers came in at $9. I know that the market is going to continue to trade sideways. Not necessarily break out, but we can still see it trade sideways. Okay. So let's look at this on a three day. This is the five day. Let me see it on the five day real quick. Okay. This is the five day time frame. So this is a probable precursor of strength, meaning that on this upcoming five day price bar that is going to be created, price has to close above it for us to know that buyers are currently in this space. Because if not, then guess what? We're going to continue to go lower or at least come back down towards $9. Let's okay. So now. Am I actually looking bearish? No, I'm not. Am I, actu am I actually bullish in the market? No, I'm not. You know, I'm not really playing either side of the market. What I'm currently getting in Nikolai is just pretty much sideways trading. But seeing how we already came through and supported $9, we can kind of play a little strength, meaning, yeah, we could see price go up. Now, is it worth the play though? Okay, because you can see it. The next area of restriction is right there around 11, right here. That's only six and a half percent. Like this is not the opportunity to be greedy. This is not the opportunity to think that we're going to shoot up to the moon because that is definitely not this time frame right now. But we could get six and a half percent. Right. We can. We can even see the price try to come back up to our previous area of support or it is now going to act as restriction, which is around 15 and a quarter. Right. We could see that, too. So am I massively bullish in Nikola? No, I'm not. I mean, I can even see restriction here on a 13 hour chart right now. And that's why the market yesterday on this 13 hour price bar closed lower. So yeah, we can see price come back down too. But as long as it doesn't break $9, that's fine. So that would be the first spot of restriction, $10.50 next area i mean just for us to nibble off of some small profit would be eleven dollars that would be first that's seven and a quarter percent okay second area would be 11.50 that would give us almost 12 11 and three quarters of percent and then last is going to be no higher than 12 dollars okay so those are three areas that i'm tagging for us to see the market and nikolai move okay so that's it Again, I'm not extremely bearish. I'm not extremely bullish. I'm just simply playing slight strength and expecting the market to go up. All right. And that's it. So it's your turn. Hit me up. Let me know what do you all think the market is going to go for Nikola. Uh, let's do it for the ending of this year. I mean, just try it. Just try to predict the price and see where we're going to go and how high or how low to see how good you are. All right. Thank you all for taking opportunities to view the videos hope you guys have been garnering a whole lot of knowledge and understanding as to how to read charts because this is the only thing you need in order to be profitable all right i'm done make sure you maintain a profitability and as always trade different